Hi, Hi audience. audience. You're on, you're on off Broadway. Focus. Um, here's this. Where's the third light? I want to thank you. Thank you, thank you. Me the one. It's a little crazy. It's too, it's too dark. Can you guys see? It looks great. It's not too dark, but you can yes. only, if you do that, you can only go with that one. It's better. That's what, what the hell are you talking about? Sorry. I'm moving uh, to tomorrow. Use your microphone. Let everyone know where you're going to be. Your exact address. Your exact address. No, I'm moving to the Upper West Side, and we're going to be pretty close to each other. And I was, just, I was saying, do you work out at Equinox? <laughs> no, like, we should it's should totally like, work out together. Yeah, that's exactly how he said it. So <laughs> it's so overpriced there. I want to say we did it. It's not even that great. Really? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Everybody I've talked to says they love it. Really, everyone I talked to hates it. Really? They're all bitches. Friends <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, are so negative. Sort of. Why well, used to be there? And then we all moved. Then we went to anyway. Ah, uh, it's Conrad and Ashley and Bebra. Thank you. And I. Hey. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's catch up on everything. So first of all, yeah, they played the Young Lovers. It doesn't quite work out. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so Ash, where did I meet you? New York Super Liberty Gym? Is that what yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we did the, why do I feel like you're in total darkness? It's not in total darkness. I literally no, don't want to see this. Yeah, we met, I literally see a black <laughs> and sort of hair in one eye. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to learn you on this very stage. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, first we have to just discuss inappropriateness. Ashley, please tell them on the unhealthiness if you're doing right now, because I'm totally outraged as a Jewish mother. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a juice cleanse right now. A juice cleanse is a totally made up. No, it's not. It works. It is. It doesn't work. It's anything. not even for weight loss. It's for like health benefits. It is not. It's completely Wait, get everybody you you, right plead now. your case, and then Ashley let her plead her. Okay, okay. So okay. Seth, go. It's completely made up. It's just called drinking like sugar water, and then of course you're like, oh my god, I'm so cleansed. You're not cleansed. It's called you drink sugar water for a week. Go. Good sugars, it's fruit, and it helps with energy, and it helps with focus, and it gets detoxes your entire body. According to no, what no, science? Like, because, you know what, I feel like when I'm on a juice cleanse, I'm actually putting more nutrients in my body than when I'm just eating normally. I feel a lot of things. I'm talking about the actual scientific <laughs> evidence. It's called Google. Oh my god. Okay, please go, Periscope, Google right now, and tell me juice cleanse. Periscope is on Ashley's side. Oh, okay, we were all under 18. Because they're amazing. <laughs> Cyrus does it. Okay, anyone over like 40? All right, get back to me. All right. Hey, what did you have for lunch? Was it healthy? Uh, I had a quesadilla. Stop it! Stop. Why are you doing this? I, I'm on Ashley's yeah. side. Um, <laughs> healthy. All carbs and fat. All right, um, Ash, where are you from? I'm from Michigan. I was raised in Michigan. I was born in California. Oh, and then how, so you're 100 percent raised there, and you went to high school, everything. Mm -hmm. school. High school, um, college. I went to the University of Michigan for musical theater. Mm -hmm. So, probably, how did you start doing music when you were a kid? Music theater or just music? Any music. Music. Well, I started like dancing when I was three. You know, like little the tutus and all that yes. stuff, competition dance, and then. Oh, actually, um, competition dance. Well, I don't know when I was like three. So that was like in California. Wow, then, were you like Miss Burbank? No. Were you like those girls with the flippers? Like you weren't doing Miss Beauty pageants? No, I was doing like little, you know, like fairy thing. Anyways, um, and then I. Who's Beauty Beauty It's not very Asian, actually. Huh? Mother, it's not very Asian. Was your mother? My mom was a Cali girl, so. Oh, okay, that's right. Because I was gonna say, like, first generation Asian would be like totally. No, no, no. I did play piano though, so I started piano when I was like five, six. That's what really got me to. That was your tip of the hat to Asianness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, and then um, but yeah, I got into musical theater when I was like in middle school because. I was raised in Ann Arbor um, by the University of Michigan. A lot of the musical theater majors when I was young, they would come and direct the youth programs and That's like at high school. Yeah, so they were the ones who like took me under their wing, especially in high school. A lot of them, um, a lot of them are in the industry now. I was gonna say, aren't they like kind of on Broadway now? Like, yeah, yeah, Broadway, you know, they're all doing stuff and they all, um, so th that's that's how I first really got into musical theater. What was your uh, first kind of a big role? <laughs> um, in sixth grade, I played Dorothy in The Wiz. Oh, so is that all uh, not black version? Yeah, all kind of black, not really version. Yeah. And did you, but were you like a um, typical uh, 10 year old that was like, no, when I think I move, I, I don't know, I haven't watched this stuff, but. You have it on video? Yeah. And you can bring it? I can't, no. Oh. Why? You have to reclaim it. <laughs> I, mean, I will when they, when they air it live. Did you? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> totally. That's right. amazing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll buy. Yeah. Okay, now where'd you grow up? Uh, all over the place. My dad was in the Air Force. So. And how'd you get into musical theater? Because military people love it usually. No, I didn't get into theater. 
at all until after uh, until after college, after undergrad. I took one theater class and it blew my mind. And then I was like, I gotta do this. So you weren't doing like courses and stuff when you were a kid or anything? No, like that? no, I was playing tennis. And what's your ethnic background? My dad was born in the Philippines. My mom is English, Irish, and German. Oh yeah, so you weren't doing, so you just happened to have a good voice that was just not utilized at all in your teenage years? Yeah. <laughs> and what were you planning on being, like an Air Force pilot? No, I got my undergrad degree in psychology, my BA is in psychology, uh, and I wanted to play professional tennis, and then I, after college, tried to, and it was so lonely and so just like not for me, and then... Why, well, how do you try to do it? What do you have to do? You go to qualifying tournaments to get into like lower level tournaments, and then eventually try to work your way up into like, they're called satellites and challenger tournaments before you can get into like... The big ones. The big ones, So yeah. you get ranked, don't you? Yeah. So what was your ranking? I didn't have one. Oh, that <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you win any of them? I won some matches. I didn't win any of the, t in the tournaments. I didn't win any. So how are you making any money? I, this lasted after undergrad for like three weeks. <laughs> so really dedicated. Yeah. So like, he was like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. So, so you had a psychology degree, like, oh wait, I'll be a professional tennis player. Three weeks later, you're like, just kidding, I'm going to be an actor because it's more stable? Uh, <laughs> no, because I remember I took the class and I loved it so much. What and, class was it? Uh, it was an intro to theater class. During college? Yeah. And why did you happen to take it? Uh, just because I was bored, I didn't know who I was, I didn't know what the world was all about, so I was like, I just need to take things, yeah, and you have to take electives. <laughs> so how did you go from having a, having a degree and your degrees had a school to segue into acting? Like, what was your segue? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I just, I worked and then I got jobs. Well, did you work at, what you, like, did you I worked at like, oh, oh no, I was working at a, a, a well, I started being a uh, tennis pro at a country club teaching tennis and then I wanted to get out of tennis completely so I Wait, stopped. How many affairs did you have and how old were the women? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, 50 years old. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, 50. Uh, uh, so Aren't they I, all, was that to the hot tennis pro? Like the yeah, ones? they are. It's, and it's, what were you just like? Just like, hey, um, thanks for the lesson. Can I have my money now? Oh, really? And they were like, can uh, I pay you another way? Yeah. Like, do you still like this move? <laughs> Wait, do you still teach? You don't have the energy in a juice fast, you can't get rid of it. Come on. Wait, where would you take tennis? I actually have tennis courts in New York. You can take lessons here. I have tennis courts at my oh, complex. Yeah. You have one more day. One yeah, day. one more day. I'll give you one lesson. I see all the fun Playful Obsessed videos. Ashley's tennis courses. Oh, nice one out there. The last one was amazing. Back to you. Okay, so hold on. So you're like, no more tennis. No more tennis. I worked at a coffee shop and started taking a film, act, uh, film uh, classes. What does that mean? Whisper? Uh, yeah, whisper, whisper acting. Um, and I've seen films. I'm always like, can't hear you. <laughs> you crazy. Um, and TV. Speak up. Yeah. Uh, so I started doing that, and did you not sing at all? Did you not no. sing in college? No. So how did you? Oh, I, my senior year, I took, I joined the the, the gospel choir. Goes around contract. Wait. Oh, so that was your first time you ever sang? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like, I sang as a kid like him, like, hey, like, <laughs> <that song? laughs> hey. It's not like a song, but okay, so that's great. Okay, so, so you kind of said You're it. so mean. It's <laughs> <laughs> making me girl. really uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 So you end up going to the, so you have to audition musical theater, so you have to like, so you have to sing, dance, and act for the audition, right? Yes. Yes. And was that the only school you auditioned for? For musical theater, yeah. I was like, if I'm meant to do musical theater, then I'll go, then I'll go to this school. And if not, then I'm going to do academics. So if you so didn't I get in, it would mean that you can't do musical theater? You were pre-med, weren't you? No, not pre-med. No, after You were something real smart. Something <laughs> you got into Harvard, that's what it was. Yes. Oh my god. That's a yeah. secret? She no, I mean, no, I mean, no. It's so like, Asian. Can I just say, yeah, my ex boyfriend was Asian. I have this, mm -hmm. okay. 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 Aaron. It was always about, like, it was, I guess, called the humble brag, where, like, we'd be playing a Scrabble, and he would literally do a Scrabble, you'd put down all seven, and he would just, like, count it and be playing. He was like, why are you not going, oh my god, I'm amazing, I just put all seven tiles in until, like, 
I'm blank face. I don't react to it except that you have the reaction. So like you get into Harvard, like we get to have the reaction. Like whatever. It's not. I know, but I hate people who are like it's just because you're Asian, you know. No, it's not. It's because you're smart. Okay, that's my point. Yeah. No, the Asian part is the, the refusing to brag about it and making other people brag about it and being blank face. So that's, that's the Asian part. That's not important because I ended up going to the university. It is important. You're smarty pants. Oh. Wait, so what did you get? What did you get? What did you get in your SATs? Go. I don't remember. How, How did you remember? That was like four years ago. So I did the ACTs. Like that was my that was my bread and butter. You know what I'm saying? SATs was like. But when I'm obsessed with literally starting Harvard, I'm not going to because I want to sing. Like you literally <laughs> turned down Harvard to like sing national no, act. Um, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> but can't you sing national act at Harvard and have an amazing debut to go along with it? No, but that's. But look, I'm here. And I'm <laughs> I guess it paid off. It paid off. I just like. God, and also, I'm like it was like. I love Ann Arbor so much, my hometown, and like getting to go to college there was so great too. It's so funny, so many kids are like, I want to get the hell away from my hometown. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're. Really? <laughs> there are various reasons, but the great thing about Michigan is also like, I could go to football games and go to like frat parties. And Wait, stuff hold like on, back The great thing is football games and frat parties. No, and like you can have a normal party. So she's she's a girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just so happy all of us had like no frat games, like no frat no football games. Like we had, you like, know, but no, you can have a big campus me. life and then, ha and then have your small like musical theater. Did your parents have a shit kid that you turned out of Harvard? No, they were so supportive. They were Did like, you oh, you survived email? cancer, we're going to support anything. Survived right cancer? When did that just happen? <laughs> you do that. No, I did not. It's, hey, it's Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. September. Wait, tell, tell us everything. Go. What do and you like, mean? Well, like, first of all, like, it's Childhood Awareness. Like, what are people supposed she to do? She was like, wish kid. Yeah. Huh? So, what, really? Yeah. Well, what are yeah. people supposed to do in terms of awareness? Like, uh, is there something out there like parents? Like, make sure you... Like blah blah blah. Don't allow your kids to get in. To, to get <laughs> no, like, you know, yeah. like, I mean, you can support. I mean, one, right now, one in every four, four or five, one in five kids who are diagnosed with cancer don't survive it. So just raising awareness. There's a lot of um, like for 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 me, I had acute myeloid leukemia and I was diagnosed when I was 15. Oh, that's bad. And so that form of cancer in a person of my age was, you know, like everything is just still they're trying to find different things and stuff like that. So raising awareness and raising money for places that it'll go straight to the patients and their families and their um, protocols is important. So like, what do you recommend, like if people want to donate this month, what should they do? Um, well, right now um, there's a campaign going on at the hospital that treated me, the CF CS Mott Children's Hospital at the University of Michigan. And it's called, um, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I forgot what it's well, called. So they don't know the name of that hospital. What's yeah, it? yeah, yeah. CS Mott Children's Hospital. What's the second word? Mott? Mott. M-O-T-T. -T, uh -huh. Children's Hospital. And um, their pediatric unit is amazing. And they're really, um, they're a teaching school. And so, yeah. Because I do, I do something for a thing called Only Make Believe, which brings like um, entertainment to hospitalized kids, mm -hmm. which is a great organization, Only Make Believe. Did, right. did anyone ever come and like entertain you guys when you were in the hospital? Yeah, I mean, I actually, when I was in college, I went back and I did, I started a program where we would go and we had a clowny class and um, go um, and dress up and visit the kids in the hospitals there. It's, it's tough because certain wings, because of the immune systems, you're yeah. not able to really have hands-on interactions with them, but sometimes just seeing somebody else from outside Day and stuff, so. I face so now what's your depressing make a wish story? Which what did no, you No, that was <laughs> that's a fun story. Um I my wish I have never been to, so after I was I got out of the hospital and I kind of realized um this is what I wanted to do and I had a lot of people supporting me. Um I realized I've never been to New York City, I've never seen a Broadway show or anything. So my wish was just to come watch a Broadway show, and um, the fairy godmother of my region happened to be the mother of a kid that I did theater with, and so they had Make a Wish Foundation did this whole trip for me and my family. We came and watched I think four Broadway shows: yeah. it's so great. Lion King, Spring Awakening, Wicked, and Chorus Line, I think. And then they put us up in a hotel with like oh, limos. Wow. We did college visits, and I was like, Oh my gosh, this is how it is to live in New York City <laughs> with a limo. No, sort of. No. Exactly. That's <laughs> 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 False pretenses, but yeah, yeah. So, so Make a Wish is another good place that people can donate money. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, that's. Heavy shit. I know. Okay, back to you and your blessed child. So, okay, so, uh, so you're out of college. I just came from therapy here. <laughs> it's all good. So how did you get your equity card? Uh, doing Ferdinand the Bull at the Arden Theater in Philadelphia. Is that a children's show? Yeah. And Ferdinand, is it a musical? Uh, yeah. 
And now, is it that kind of thing where you knew you were going to get like, did you crash that vision as non equity? Like, how did you get it? No, uh, it was, they had, uh, they were seeing non equity and equity. Uh, and yeah. That's so, weren't you flipped out you're at your card? Yeah, I was. I was excited to just, hey, look, I think actors are just excited to get jobs, yeah. and no matter what, and to get a paying job. That's like crazy. And where were you living at that time? In, in Philly. Yeah. So, and when did you decide to move to New York? Uh, well, I went to grad school. I went to get my MFA oh, at the University. Of I'm not oh, sure what you said. Siri. <laughs> Siri, what did you actually ask for? <laughs> um, I went to University of Tennessee uh, to get my MFA and just moved up here in 2012 uh, after I graduated. Why do you sound vague like you have a southern accent? From Tennessee? or you? Well, no, I spent so much time in the south. My dad, the last place he was stationed was in Niceville, Florida, which is right below Alabama. And uh, I went to undergrad in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then my grad school is in Tennessee. So you do have a I'm land, I'm land, I'm land. Oh my god! But, but I think especially when I start talking about the South, the it, South? Like, it starts coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I think you sound like Obama, but that not oh. many. That not oh my gosh, you play the vocal place. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the accent is Southern. Oh my god. Okay, so wait, back to you. Okay, so you're back. So now you're in Michigan, and now. Were you one of those cutthroat years where everyone was like, um, we're going to destroy you for the first few years and then build you up in confidence? I don't know. I kind of, I, I can't remember. Were the teachers mean to you? No, no, they're great. And what about the other uh, students? They're great. Everyone, I think the model of our of our program is you can't move forward if you're looking side to side. Mm. So we kind of try to live by that. That's a bravo. And what kind of roles did you get in the Um... Maybe, what did I do? I was like Shelly and Bat Boy. I was Shelly, like, no, that's great. Right. Chicago and Brigadier. I did lots of dancing at school. Wait, yeah. so now why are you not dancing now? Like, you're, you're, I was a mom, yeah. I know. But I mean, dancing, yeah. I tried. we tried to put in a ballet for ourselves and like. Wait, what know, happened? You pitched it? You're like, hey. Yeah, we were like, can we do I Have Dreamed as like a. Like we have lots of ideas. Like a, yeah, <laughs> like a contemporary dance during tech and they're like, fine, fine. I thought maybe a tumbling pass during. He tumbled. He was in cats. <laughs> He was a tumbler. Did you learn how to tumble just randomly? Or yeah. When I was a kid, but like just like messing around with friends, and then when I started doing theater, uh, You're, I, I, I did uh, West Side Story, and they're like, I don't know, they, I was, they asked if people could tumble, and I was like, oh, I think I can, and then I just started running and like yes. just threw my body in the air, and I was like, oh That's yeah, so I can. Great. So what can you do as a tumbler? And show me right now. <laughs> <laughs> She said there's no room. <laughs> yes, this is called literalness. This is called comedy. Literalness. Oh, yes. That's comedy. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, so, it's so dry, it's funny. Yeah. Oh, wait, so hold on, wait, what can you actually do? Uh, back tucks, uh, back handsprings, a little arrows. And that's not, not now. This was like when I first started, like in when I was 25. But that'd be so funny when like, when like, Ruby Ann sees you two, like, whoa, and like, oh. like, flip down, like, <laughs> out of fear. Crouching tiger in like the back. Like the last one the very last note, on the high note. Yeah. <laughs> Just do that. Wait, what did you do and who are you in catch? One of the actual tumblers? Yeah. <gasps> Don't, aren't you in a team with that? Name it. Yeah, it's Tumble. I wasn't it's Tumble Bruce. What was the other one? Tumble Teaser? No. Isabella? I know. Grisella. <laughs> that was <laughs> the name. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I can't believe you both dance. You guys, you have to do some kind of like fun, like for just a year or something. I danced in quotation marks. Wait, it's okay. I, feel no, like, I feel like I, for guys, like if you can keep a rhythm, it's you can get a job. But you had like moves from her. You were doing like very tech. He was like doing all his here, like here lies love dance moves, and I was trying to follow. Oh, him was off. I? I don't know. We that were dance was amazing. That but... show. Word. Yeah. So no, got he's it. got rhythm. Flip, 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 flip. I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> So back to you. So now, why did you never do like full like on the town? Like, are you like really ballerina, ballerina? No, oh. probably not anymore either. I haven't danced for a while. Do you ever do chorus line? No, I haven't. I'm too tall for that. You're too tall. Okay, so you <laughs> so you ever do summer <laughs> stuff? Yeah, I did. That's where I got my car. I um, did PCLO Pittsburgh Civic Light Opera. What show? Um, I did. Oh, well, that summer I did. Sound of Music, Jesus Christ Superstar, Jekyll and Hyde, Love Changes Everything. So wait, Sound of Music, you were on none? I was, yeah, a postulant, the new uh, postulant. Is that the worst? You, uh, fun fact, um, do you know Corey Cott? Yeah, I just heard yeah. about a show literally yesterday. Oh, okay. We got our cards together, and that summer, out of like the four or five shows we did, I had to waltz with him for like three of them. Boy, as a nun, you had a waltz on a No, as a ballroom dance. Oh, okay, okay. It's the, the guest, oh. the party, you know? <laughs> sound of Music. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so. 
And what other shows? So wait, the Santa music. What's that one? Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, Jekyll and Hyde. Jesus Christ Superstar. Were you made by the fire. And Jesus Christ Superstar. I was one of the Soul Girls. Does that make sense? Yes. Of Is course. that a thing? Uh, that's a, and Simon Zealots. Yes, sure. Yes. And Simon. also in um, um that you didn't enter during the finale. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Those. Those ones. Jeez. Yeah. Always the best. Yeah. And, and what then, was the third one? Um, Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll, oh, who you yeah. know? <laughs> one of the. Were you murdered? Were you at least a prostitute that got murdered? I was a prostitute, I think. Well, we all yes. are. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's where you got your equity card. And then, yeah, so did you go to New York or did you go to Tennessee first, like this clown? Did I go to what? New York or did you like go down south first? Wait, why would did I go down to... south? Well, he went to Tennessee. Yeah. I thought maybe you followed me. Did you follow me? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we go everywhere together. Him. It's true. <laughs> no, I moved straight to New York City after graduation. And then how did you make any money? Did you have a day job? I did. Um, I worked here. <laughs> you're gonna hate me so much. In a juice bar? <laughs> I don't know the word juice. I, I worked at Juice Press. That's where I've written. No, let me tell you. That's why I know everything about it. And it's really great. Anyways, I worked at Juice Press. It was right next to my apartment. I also worked at Happy Lalo. Have you heard of it? I love Happy Lalo. Because I love She Loves Me and I love um, the movie. You've got me. mail? You've got mail so much. Literally, my apartment's on the same um, street as it's like now a laundry place, but you've got mail. They. Um, Filmed at this like well Shakespeare yeah. Shakespeare and Company used to be about that bookstore Shakespeare. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, so Capri Lau was on like 83rd Street, and it's like with it. Yeah, I loved it. Oh my gosh! And then they they always had like cake and pie. And it was I great. love Capri Lau. You know, Capri Edgar used to be over there. Capri Edgar clothes. And I love that. Capri Edgar from Black Away. What are you saying, Edgar? Edgar, yes, Edgar. Oh, Edgar. Oh, oh. You don't know it? No. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh. Okay, so those wait, those were your two day jobs, brah bah, and that's how you got obsessed with juicing. <laughs> So good for you. Okay, talk about it later. Okay, <laughs> now when did you find him in New York? Uh, 2012. For uh, what? To actually flew up here to do to audition for Here Lies Love before I graduated and booked it and then came up here and did Here Lies Love, the third workshop, and then it was a swing on Allegiance uh, in San Diego and then came back. Oh my god, all these just take so many years to get done, man. Yeah. What was Allegiance like? Because no one's seen it yet. Give me some inside scoop. Oh, it's great. Well, it's changed a lot because that production was done three years ago, so I actually don't know <laughs> what it's like now. All right, all right, of course, yeah, they have changed a lot, but some of the yeah. songs are the same though, right? I don't was know. Was Lisa Long in no. it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So what was She's like? amazing. She's incredible. She's so sweet and just like consistently amazing every single night. Like, Chords of Steel. She Tell you is style? amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. I mean, they're very different, but so great in, in their own ways. And then what was your day job in New York? Uh, I didn't actually have to get a day job. I've just been working. <laughs> hey, no, I loved it. There's something very romantic about waiting tables and going to auditions. There is. I'm looking good. this way because my neck is cramping. Well, because the juice comes, you have more nutrients. <laughs> I give that to you. Must have protein. Right. Right. So, yeah, you want to. This is what I'm dead serious right now. No, I know. It's a cleanse. There you guys. Who wears short shorts? Conrad wears short shorts. No. So I'll give us two. Look at this game. Alright. Uh, so you're in Tennessee. Wait, uh, okay, so, yeah. Okay, so, so Allegiance. Yeah. Conrad. Yeah. And then, so that you haven't had. Wait, but you did a show at the public theater. How did you make enough money at the public theater to not have a job? It's like off Broadway. I just ate eggs and ramen and all day long. <laughs> yeah. That's not protein. Not oh, juice man. press. Uh, no. Yeah. So what was it like? Your first big show in New York was Here Lies Love. Yeah. That was like a big fat hit. Any probably any crazy uh, audience stories? Because the audience, if you didn't see Here Lies Love, you know the audience is like an inch away from you and you're constantly pushing them out of the way and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> with shoving with love. And shoving love. Uh, <laughs> wait. So was there any first of all any any Dance belts feeling? What was happening? No, uh, a few people passed out from being, being drunk because it was like a party type show and they were on their feet. Uh, so sometimes people would pass out. And who would pick them up? Uh, the, we had audience wranglers that would uh, come around and be a part of the party and being like, okay, drunk person, grab them. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Any vomit? No, uh, not that I'm aware of. It's like your own kind of frat party. Yeah. <laughs> there were some people that were on like hallucinogenics because they were not watching us. They were like, <laughs> like staring at the lights and like dancing around and like not paying attention to us. So that was interesting. Right? Ruby Ann said there were certain like, you know, Marco supporters or detractors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the, because the history is so recent and. Uh, Imelda Marcos is still alive, so and she she had a big New York presence and still has friends here. So, did she come to the show? She did not. 
No. Did you guys invite her to opening? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think she comes out too positive. Yeah, yeah but so. maybe, I don't know, maybe she would be see it and be like, oh, you guys love me. <laughs> I guess you know, some people have people have their own perception of things. It's kind of on the negative side, but I, I love that show. Okay, but so back to you, so we moved to New York, you had these crappy jobs, and then what was your first, well, sort of, you know what I mean, like what was your first big I make money as an actor job? Um, how, I mean, Mom? I was doing, yeah, I think, I was doing a bunch of like workshops and reading and stuff for a little stipend. Yeah, but you said I, modeling. Yeah. No, mama, not modeling. <laughs> yes, modeling. <laughs> Work. Sure. Wait, um, so so what was mama me like? Was one of those like I went in and then two years later they hired me? They threw a lot of money. They put you on fire. No, it was. I almost didn't go into my audition actually. It was right after the first one after um, my like I went I went away for Christmas or whatever, and it was like January third or fourth, and I was like, oh, um, I was not feeling well but i just went in and it was it was so fun i think we just did like a dance combo to like a rihanna song and we did like a scene and they it's just a rounded scene and song and um i had never seen the show i didn't know what it was about but i was like i'm just gonna have so much fun <laughs> and it worked and um then I, it was really fast you got yeah. past it the next day yeah and they're they're closing this week it's their last week I'm going, so i got the night off from king and i to go they invited all the alum the broadway that's alum, fun to watch the show so they're gonna do that on saturday night It'll be are you gonna sing on the audience um, I'll pretend like I am. I think I'll be on mobile rest, but you know. <laughs> that's so, so annoying. That's so basic of me. No, 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 no. I will. I'll definitely be. And then what was your wrong. track? <clears throat> I was the Cult of Pants. Um, <laughs> okay, that's a thing. Like the secret talk. And then I had like the little cupcake dress at the end. That's what we call it. But I was um, ensemble and then I covered Allie, the one in the overalls. Does she have glasses, mm -hmm. Allie? She's a wacky Yeah, oh, I know. We've always had worn glasses in all no, of our I was just thinking last roles. night, I, right before we went on, I was staring at Ashley and I said, this is our job. Like, I'm looking at her in these, like, long flowing robes <laughs> and I'm wearing, like, a man bun and, like, <laughs> these, like, flowing robes and I'm like, this is how we make a living. And the, I just had that thought again when you're like, I played the quilted pants. <laughs> 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 I was like, come right, oh, yeah, right, yeah, on, I'm going to go on stage and pretend like the people just take for, I am. Like, <laughs> we just take for granted that, like, yeah. you know, this Super is what fun. we do for a living. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anything ever go wrong with uh, the Mamma Mia? Anything wrong? Yeah. No. Anyone, right. Anyone. <laughs> I don't know, did you ever like, come out wrong entrance or something in a Yeah, well, I talked to you about the, rip the pants spraying a lot. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Tell, we'll tell my parents I, about it. Huh? Oh, I mean, I would, because they're quilted pants, I kept on, a lot of the, the dancing is improv, and I would just like be going full out, and I would rip my pants down the seam but, like all the time, and so I would have to sneak out what before like the big freeze, and like put on the swings like denim pants, and all the guys would be there in their wetsuits, be like, oh my god, she ripped them again. What kind of move would you do that to rip the, the I, it's like a drop into the ground. I don't I'm not gonna Oh, you know, old school Britney drops like, into the ground. <laughs> But I, I mean, we would trip and I think the, the last uh, fun little tradition they do on someone's last show during the big mega mix at the end, it's like 15 minutes of cardio dance. Um, there's one section of improv where for eight counts, everybody on stage rushes the person who's leaving. Aww. And it's really fun, they do a big hug. I completely forgot about that tradition, so on my last night they did that. It was the scary, I fell on the ground. I, like, it Wait, because so all scary. these people just came running <laughs> at you? Came running at me. But Everybody why did you fall to protect yourself and into a ball? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I had a, I just, I literally just fell to the ground. You know, it's like, yeah, it's when something scary skittish. happens, like sudden, like I just. Although, you don't set your life up in a way that would allow that to not happen you very often because you're always pulling pranks on people so you should expect oh, yeah, comrade. Like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh well she set up a camera in her dressing room and uh i was i came into her room every the same time i do every show and she uh told me she, she was she was crying when i came in she said uh she told me she was pregnant and i was like and then it went on for a, a couple of seconds and then she was like april fools ah! <laughs> I was so mad. No, but well, what's cute about it, you, you can watch the video because I think Broadway.com or someone did it. But he, like, he was eating a burrito and he was like mid chew, and all he could do was try to chew the rest of it swallow, and he was like, <laughs> like, and then he was like, like, trying to just, he didn't know what to say. All he could do was hug me. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Did Last you? night she put peanut butter on my hand on stage. What? Literally? He's trying to get me fired. No, no. Wait, that's, that's, hypothetical that's, peanut butter. Hypothetical. That's what you do with that's Sandy funny. when you're doing Annie. They have the dog come over to you and put peanut butter in the hand. Well, that? same thing. Hey. <laughs> you know how love comes back. 
<laughs> Why was the best thing you think of as I'm pregnant? Like it was Zebra Pools. I did I did it on Kelly too, and I didn't get that on video. But I was like, who hasn't? Who wouldn't know that I pulled this on a comrade? So, but I set up a camera with him. And it worked. Spot and how did you do the crying? Huh? So you had the makeup? How did you have to get the crying on? I mean, we no. cry a lot on the show, so I was still in a place after the whole whipping thing, so I was like, let's get a conjure it up. And have you not pulled any pranks on her? No. No, it's too easy. It's I also took my Oh, talk to me. I'll help you out. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me know. Good. No, no, no. Sweet. 100%. <laughs> no, no, 100%. That's what I'm Okay, I'll tell you what, what to be amazed when you do her, because they did it to me when I was working on the Rosie Dallas show. I was always like, oh, I'm healthy. And I made like a shape full of like, skin milk and like protein powder, and I found out that when I would like go to the refrigerator, they would literally put like two bags of M&Ms in my shake, so it would all get blended together. So I'd be like, I'm having a low fat, and I'd literally be drinking two bags of M&Ms. So from her juice fast, well, I was like, so, I'm just saying it's an amazing tactic. So she's like, I'm so classy. You literally took a hamburger. <laughs> So mean girls of them. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was hilarious. We pulled so many pranks on each other. We had nothing else to do. All right, okay, so, wait, so back to you. Wait, you do, no, back to you. So, back to you. How long did you do the show for? Um, uh, seven months, I think. Yeah. And then, how, so how did King and I happen? Did they call you and say, we want you on the show? No. Um, I, I was actually supposed to, I went, I um, got cast in the Cinderella tour to go out on tour. And so. Oh. Say Gabrielle, she's the nice stepsister. She had glasses, right. she had white yeah, pretzel. Yeah, the yeah. very one. Um, and so I was really excited about that. And um, I think we are, you know, auditioning here at June and July and stuff. And the what it came down to is the week that um, we had gone through auditions, and they had to. There's the last week we had to get approved by like the Our Rogers age. and Harris, Yeah, everybody. And so. They were like, that'll, that'll happen sometime in September. And we was like, okay. And I was like, you I'm not- for Cinderella approval, or for No, for King, King and I. I, for King and I. But you knew you had so, a job already in Cinderella? But you're still yeah, so I. the tricky thing was that I was like, how am I gonna, I, I wanna sign on to Cinderella, but I need it. And the only reason I wouldn't is if I know for sure King and I was gonna happen. But they said, we don't know for sure until September. And rehearsals started for Cinderella in September. So wow. there were a long twist of stuff and lots of phone calls and stuff like that. Um, Cinderella agreed to give me an out just for this role. Oh. So. Um, there's a lot of people help, helping out, and I have Bart to thank and stuff like that. But um, so the week that they decided for us to come in and do our final stuff was I was that was my double duty week. So I was doing Mama Mia at night and Cinderella rehearsals nine to five. And are the for King and I? Yeah. So they're like, come and do King and I, and we were like, I was like, I, I literally don't have to, like when, and so we had to go in at like eight thirty in the morning. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I, and I was like, we had just. I think we only met like the day before. before our why didn't you do six o'clock before a half hour? Why didn't you, huh? you do the? Why didn't you do before half because hour? Because rehearsal went till six, and then our curtain was. Then I had to be at the theater at seven, and so, uh -huh. and it was just you know like so. Um, you had to sing like. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't pretty. When, when they act, they actually told us in the room that we got the role, but the reason I thought they were calling us back in was because I thought they were going to have us sing I Have Dreamed Again. Uh, it, was, it was so it was so early. <laughs> yeah, I just can't super, remember. Yeah. But you got the part that day. They told us in the room. With all the Rogers and Hammerstein people. In Lincoln there. Center, there's like 15 it's people. Really cool. like, oh. I That's don't... never happened to me or like, no. you know, You see it on shows all the time. We're like, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, that never happens. Everybody it's usually there, five but... weeks later. And they said that. They were like, you know, we, we, you know, we usually don't. Just don't worry. We'll call your agents right away. So it's official. But, um, yeah, Bart and Bernie came out and got us. And they were like, oh, he was going to tell. Okay. Would you like to be in our production? Uh... And you're both like, uh. <laughs> 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 And had to come in at 8 30 morning and sing those high notes. And then, did you, who, you had to give notice to Cinderella to be able to do it at all, or you couldn't even do it? Yeah, so then I went to rehearse. I mean, it's, it's funny because it's Rogers and Hammerstein, so like Ted Chapin came to our last run of Cinderella and was like, <laughs> You're leaving in five Yeah, so. How long did you get to do it? Um, like three months. That's so nice. Yeah, and some of my best friends are I made on that tour, and um, two of them are getting married, and I'm going to. I'm, I'm a minister now. I've been ordained. You are? Yes. <laughs> yes I <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna marry them in November. You did it online? Yes. What do you have to do? What's your course? And I got it from like two different churches because I was so scared that both of them weren't legit. But I think you just like answer some questions and like pay some I know it's really anybody can be a minister, but well, that's your nice. you call, yeah, you and you're gonna you're gonna do some ceremony because of that? Yeah, Andy Jones and Audrey Carwell and they're what are you gonna wear? Oh. Okay. 
vest mounts, like crazy long. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I'm probably gonna take my Tuftum costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that white one. Actually, would be kind of appropriate. Yeah, right. Or, oh my we gosh. No. So then, what were rehearsals like? Was it a lot of like, um, was he some you coming up with your own stuff? Was he like, here's something you go? Like, with King and I? Yeah. It was pretty open. Like, it, it was nice at the beginning because he kind of just threw us into an empty space and just let us follow our impulses and then slowly started, you know, shaping it from there. Uh, um, we did yeah, a table read on day one where they had to sing everything too. And both of us uh, had never seen the show and had never been in it. Yeah. So we were like, wait, we haven't sung this song. Wait, what? And so we were all sitting, like 50 some people at a table and they're like, go! Singing, sitting down. Oh, oh, my like, no. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's the most nervous I've ever been. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's and so think, weird to think back to that now. We had a teacher her, yeah. Like, did everyone el did everyone know it but you guys? Was everyone like <laughs> a little Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people I think have done it had done it already. Yeah, that's what made it great is because we came to it really just like what what's on the page is where mm -hmm. we're gonna come from and like the ballet for instance like a lot of people have been dancers in the ballet and said like for the audition i had to do the last part of it as a monologue i had no idea how it went or anything like that that's so, the time yeah how did that okay that gave me an anxiety attack like how do you do that every night and go like oh my god like don't you have to sit and like you get to watch it at least like what's your job yeah i mean i get the to get times yeah, I get to stand on the, the stool and, you know, watch it. So you get to actually sure. watch it. Okay, yeah. So it's not like you're facing away from it. Yeah, like it's, I mean, you're you're in it. it the 20 minutes surprisingly goes by fast because it's just constant movement and stuff. It, they put me on a little 12 by 12 stool, though, and so we just, they just built a new one. Because it was like, I would like, if I like, my weight would shift at all, I would fall off. Or like, oh, you would, so you're pregnant. Yeah. Now, did, you ever, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever read anything wrong? I mean, is it written down or is it memorized? Um, oh. <laughs> No, it's memorized, um, but I did it. No, it is memorized, but during tech, one of my projects is they gave me a scroll and I wrote, wrote out all the lyrics, so I have it actually written out, and I don't. And I think if I didn't have the scroll, then I would freak out, but just having it there. But there have been a few times where I've, um, I'm gonna disappear. Yes, dear. Okay, well, I fucked it up a few times. And, uh, <laughs> and, and one of, we actually, um, one girl, Sumi, she was our top, see, she actually just left the show, but um, she, our inside joke, she would, Everybody in the cast always go like, you fucked up. Like, <laughs> was, so whenever I'd fuck it up, they would like leave a sign on my mirror that says, you fucked up. <laughs> like, like, and I, I left it there to keep me humble. Like, like what would you say wrong? Um, fuck Eliza. Huh? Like some just wrong word? Uh, sometimes just like in like the wrong- Like point? No, usually not a pop. I mean, there's it's repetitive in some senses. So either I like forgets. I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't think of anything right now. But we also would have mishaps happen on stage, and I would have to cover for them. And it's hard because there's 30 orchestra members who can't see the 30 dancers on stage, and it's just a bunch of wrangling kind of. Who 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 does the most <clears throat> glaring when you make a mistake? The King or Kelly? <laughs> I don't think Jose. Maybe. Oh, the dancers, really? No, but don't they behind masks? So you can't. You can, you can feel it. Oh, can't <laughs> feel no, 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 no. no. They're, everyone's very supportive. Yeah, yeah. And what's it like? What's it like having Jose in the show now? Oh, it's so great. I mean, we got all of our hero I love like leads wow. back. It's so cool. Yeah, it's just like a big family. He must sound amazing. He does. He's really great, and it's so cool to see a different side. Uh, <laughs> well, and also because in Hero I Love, everything was sung through for the most part. Uh, um, so it's it's cool to see him develop a different character because I've only known him from uh, from Hero Lies Love. And he, he has the, he's shirtless, right? That's his signature. Always having his shirt off no matter what. For the king. Oh, for, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No his show. nipples are out too. <laughs> Let me tell you, during the previews, I started out with him. <laughs> he went through so many like physical changes, and they wouldn't tell. I wouldn't know until we'd get on stage for I Have Dreamed. So like one day, his hair was down, and I was like, we, we look like twins. We can't do this. And then, and then they, he, like, he had this cape that used to be orange, and it was like all closed up. And then one day, like they added necklaces. Oh, yeah. And then one day, they added cufflinks. And then one day, I was like, ooh. You're why your your nips are out? And then, oh, but wow. I was like, I thought it was like I was trying to tie it. I was like, what's happening? And he was like, that's it. That's actually that's 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 You know, they wanted to see him, but so whatever. So, you know what I mean? No, I know. It's just that I understand that I'm wearing my juice patches. There's so much exposed body in the show. Not me. <laughs> but also that. Okay, so we're gonna actually sing a song from the show. Now, what was the recording session like before we do it? I know you're not gonna be warmed up. You're what? Was the recording session fun or was it like, oh my god, we only It was day. so fun. It was such a fun yeah. day. Yeah, it was a blast. Did you do the whole show in one day? Yeah. yeah. 
We were in separate rooms though, which was so weird. Well, we had monitors where you could see. Yeah, other. we'd be like, hi. But we, because we have this show, we sing like this to each other. And so being in separate rooms, like I was in my own little, like literal, not even a cubicle, like room, and he was in a totally different floor, and Ted was with the orchestra on a different so floor. Weird. It's so weird to do recording. Okay, well, we'll I'm sure this is much more at home. We can't wait space. Okay, so here we go. We'll try a little song on the show. Guys, go see King and I. It's really good. Okay. So go see King and I. Paris, go Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Ah! All right. <laughs> Is this in the right key? It better be. We kiss in a shadow. We hide from the moon. <laughs> Our meetings are few and over to. Start. What TV show? Uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, you're also on a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> so, no He's actual... been flying back and forth. Literally, he I got in the red eye yesterday. Yesterday at 6 a.m. and then Tim came to the show. Wait, what's your role on How to Get Away with Murder? I play Oliver, the IT guy who's in charge yeah. with Connor, the sexy law student. Connor's a woman? No, Connor's no. a guy. They're a gay couple and it's amazing. <laughs> Can anyone be gay ever get a gay role? Why is it always going to straight people? No. <laughs> I'm gay. You won now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've been so good. That's why I've been so good for you. Have you seen the last? No, if you were gay, you'd be a lot more Dude, our stage managers. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Christine, you're just setting us back so far. <laughs> really, look at the chatterbox. We are sitting back people every week. You guys are all over me. Not cool. <laughs> Wait, so who plays opposite you? Jack Ballaghy, who actually went to the theater with Ashley in high, in high school. school. We did High School Musical together. Oh my so god. Sad. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Wait, so you were actually doing you were doing the TV show, you're flying back and forth? And Season how, two. Do you miss yeah. any performances? Yes. Yes. Like oh, that's depressing. Yeah. And how is Avoche doing the red eye? Uh, it's fine, actually, because, uh, you know, the, the seats recline all the way into a bed yes. so you sleep. And part, so are you one of those Ambien people? No. Well, yeah, I'm proud yeah, of you. Yeah, but it's looking more and more attractive. No, Kat, I'll give you. Wait, is this your second I'm season? Really tired. Yeah. Okay, so we have to so see how they get away with murder, but watch the first season first. And Ghost of King and I. And what, anyone's, you're not, you guys are going to do an act or something? Why is there no act happening? What do you it's mean act? Like a 54 we, below comedy act. Oh, okay. we should. Yeah, we, yeah, we talked about act. doing like a, maybe like a, a, talk a, a, show a podcast or, or yeah. we should do something. We should, you guys are so sassy together. A oh, French wow. show. This is actually pretty like. Tame? Really tame, actually. <laughs> there was even more character breaking. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go to the onstage. Uh, all right, well, right. good luck. No. We're pregnant. Stay in the juice bags. All right, bye, Paris. Bye, everyone. Bye.